One of the tools you've most likely heard about or already tried if you work on a young team is Slack. There is so much hype around this app and they grew from zero to 2.7 million users in just two years. So Slack is a group communication tool for your team, but it's not at all a boring piece of enterprise software. It's a lot like a WhatsApp group for your team with many, many additional features like integrations, project channels, tagging, all that stuff that you need in order to communicate in a team. What it makes so powerful, let me show you. Emails are like a closed door for your office. People work for themselves. There is no transparency unless you CC everyone, which is complete nonsense. Slack, on the other hand, open up communication like being in one large room with everyone. The second thing, it makes you much faster, even if you do remote work. We tested that on an extreme level. Well, I was in Canada for two months working remote, enjoying the Rocky Mountains with my family. I never had to check my mails in that time and I was still able to manage my team. So it's a great tool, but there is one really important thing you need to consider before you make your decision. Slack will boost your team performance from a small size like five to something like 20 people. The more people you add, the slower the performance grows. And if there are too many people, it gets really messy and sucks up the attention of your team. You would need to split up your Slack teams in several accounts, which is not possible yet. Of course, there are more do's and don'ts, but I wanted to keep it short for now. And if you want our Slack boost pets to become a power user, I'm very happy to share them. Just fill out the form and subscribe to this channel.